Hey, Scott Houck here, and welcome into this vlog video about the truth of condo living. I live in one of these high-rise buildings here in Miami, Florida, and there can be some pros and cons to condo living, and I want to share my experiences because I think it'll help anybody that's ever looking to be in a condo or at least just curious about maybe what the condo life is all about. So as you can tell, this beautiful you know, ocean behind me here, it's quite amazing, and obviously that's a big pro of being in one of these condos. Let's talk about some of the pros and we'll talk about some of the cons. I mean, having the beach as your backyard um, is certainly a very blessed, grateful experience. Not a lot of people really get to have in their life and I'm very, very blessed to have had this experience in my life. A lot of people go on vacation and this is their vacation, right? So just living in one of these buildings can allow you to really feel like you're on vacation 100% of the time, which is really amazing. Um, but the beach isn't the only thing. You know, the condo also provides an amazing experience in view 24-7. And I believe very strongly when you have a good view to work from, it influences you. So, you know, if you have an office overlooking nature, an office overlooking mountains, the water, uh, I believe very strongly can expand your thinking and can really bring you to a higher level of frequency more of the time because sometimes you see a different perspective you see a different outlook based on you seeing something much bigger than your challenge and the problem that's in front of you if that makes sense now i know we're not all blessed at the moment that you're listening maybe into this video or maybe you know somebody like this as well that you don't really have the opportunity to change locations Right? You might be in an apartment right now and the, the look from your window is not anything like besides cars or a parking lot. And I've, I've been there so many times myself, so it's not like I just got here overnight. It took me years to attract exactly where I wanted to go over with the growth and unfoldment of my own consciousness. It wasn't a lot of years, but it was some years. And... What we want to do in that case is start striving to lay out what do we really want? Where do we really want to live? And if you want to live in a place like this with the water or the high rises or anything like that behind me, right? You start to envision it. I promise you it'll come true if you follow the right principles and you follow through on the energy of that. This was once a dream for me and I was able to fulfill it, right? So same thing can go for you if you're not there yet. So I think perspective and view is a big pro of the condo living. A lot of stuff is taken care for you, for you as well. We have a valet service, which can be a very pro and a con. Uh, we also have beach service, which is amazing. So you come out here on the beach and you already have chairs, towels, umbrellas. It's all set up for you. You just come out here and give them your beach cards and you can sit down on the beach and have a great time. So that's a huge pro as well. Another huge pro is um, more stuff is taken care of that wouldn't be as a house or, or something like that, right? You don't have to worry about a roof. You don't have to worry about fixing so many things. You don't have to worry about flooding all that stuff. We live on a very high up floor. So, you know, that can be a really easy living as well. Um, also with the condo living, I think it provides a once in a lifetime experience. Like I've, I, I would always say, if you could go and live somewhere by yourself or as a couple of your relationship, that it greatly far expands what you're used to, do that. And I grew up in a very suburb area, a lot of farmland, a lot of land and smaller neighborhoods and things, which I'm blessed to have grown up in. We didn't experience this kind of stuff unless we were on vacation, right? But living in suburb, rural area, city life, having all those different experiences, I think have expanded my awareness tremendously. And that's super, super critical and important. So I highly encourage anybody to 
go and live in a new place that you have not done so before. And this definitely made the mark for us and really, really changes the game once you do so. Now, some of the condo, cons of condo life, of course, you know, everything isn't perfect. So you're going to, you're going to have some good, some not so good. One of them can be the noise. There's a lot of construction going on all the time, especially in Miami, any major city. And um, on the weekends, it's pretty nice. It's pretty peaceful. But during the week, it can be extremely loud. And that was one thing that we had realized, you know, in our, our next location where, where we're going to live is uh, we need peace of mind. We need a lot more quiet, not only for the work that I do, but we just really, really like that. And that's super, super important. So that can be a con in city life. There's a lot going on all the time. Uh, Miami is probably one of the fastest growing cities in the U.S. right now. Just with the amount also of the living spaces and condo, high rises, all this stuff. So it can be a lot of construction all the time. So that, that would be a con. Another con is you don't, you can't step outside into nature. There's no, there's not a lot of grass. There's not a lot of trees. There's palm trees, but there's not that many, right? I mean, you can see some palm trees right there behind me and stuff, but really there's not that many. Besides, I mean, of course the ocean is nature. You don't see a lot of birds. You don't see a lot of butterflies. You don't see a lot of animal life. And if you're a person that likes that, you can often miss that type of nature uh, when you're living in one of these high rises, one of these condo buildings. And that certainly is a big thing. Um, that's why we got another home also in New York because we miss a lot of that as well. I mean, there's many reasons why we got that, including family reasons, uh, but nature is a big thing. So if you're more nature oriented, you can kind of miss that and you may need to take a few more vacations to nature filled spots while you live in a place like this, more city, because you'll miss that. Another con is uh, we have dogs and every single time they need to go out, you need to go downstairs until we find other means and ways of doing that. And I, I know there's been people out there that have their dogs go on the balcony and you have the pads and all that stuff, but uh, going up and down can be a challenge. It takes about 15 minutes just to do that. And then of course they go out, you know, four times a day on average or something like that. So that can be a con if you do have animals, that is a little bit more of a challenge. You have to find solutions for that. And you can find solutions. It works out just fine, but you do have to find some. Another con I would say is you have to get the right building that really cares about management. So the building that we live in, see, I'm a business owner, so I know value and I know what goes on and what they could be doing better value wise. Some buildings we've been in are immaculate with the service. The valet, the people, it's just amazing. And we've been in a lot of these high rise towers and the building that we're in, the management isn't as aligned with the people who live here, right? So they're not as high caliber in the value and service that they bring. And that can mean something like when you're waiting for valet to bring your car, you may have to wait 20 minutes just to get your car. So you got to kind of time it ahead of time and ask to get your car and then uh, from, from the app and then make sure that, you know, it's 20 minutes ahead of time kind of idea. Or so if you're trying to get somewhere very quickly, probably not going to happen because you really need to think ahead on requesting your, your vehicle there, right? So that would, be, that would be another con of, you know, you don't really have a garage as well. And that would be also another con is you don't really have the space to have, say, bicycles. And if you have a motorcycle and that kind of stuff, you can leave them in a parking garage, but you don't have a lot of extra storage space. We found that challenging as well when we have you know, we have a three bedroom condo, three, three bedroom, three and a half bath. And there's a lot of space in there, but when you have a lot going on, animals and offices and all that stuff, you may need some new storage space. So think ahead on that as well, if you're going to be in a high rise building. So those would be some of the cons and some of the pros also of condo living. I say the truth about condo living because 
those are not by any means complaints. Those are just realities that we've come to accept and we have to work around them. That's all that's about. So it's just really seeing what the condo living is all about. It's really amazing. If you have not done something like this, I highly suggest you do it. Again, if you have not been in a place where you, you've been living in the same place all of your life, I highly encourage you to move somewhere else. Just for it's temporary, six months. Okay, it doesn't matter, a year, something like that. It will expand who you are. If you're always in the same place, you've only lived in city or you've only lived in suburb or any of that stuff, if you find a way to live somewhere else, it will expand you, I promise you. I've seen myself and so many people do it and it really changes them for a big difference. You know, I, I get the scenarios as well. You know, if you're, if you're married and have some kids and, you know, it's really hard to move, I get that. So maybe you can get, you know, an Airbnb for three months somewhere at some point just to experience living, not just visiting, but living somewhere else. It'll expand you. I know it and I've seen others do it and it will really help. So I hope you find this video helpful and just some of my experiences. I like to do more of this because, you know, it's not just all about teachings. It's all also about personal life and saying, you know, what's going on in the background. And I think that's really important. So I'd like to share more of these experiences about my life and where I'm at and how far I've come from really going from nothing to having some incredible, extraordinary success in my life in every area of my life. And how I've been able to do that is not just the methods and techniques, it's also the energy and how I bring myself as well. And that's really important. So uh, again, I hope you find these personal vlog videos very, very helpful to you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to be sending out other videos like this as well. And also throw a like on the video. And as you do so, it's just going to help the algorithm kick into higher gear and allow more and more people to see our channel, see our videos, see the service that we provide and the value we provide as well. Scott Hub signing off here. I look forward to seeing you over in our next video.